Hi, welcome to the shop. Today I'm continuing to optimize toolpath feeds and speeds on the Tormach PCNC 1100. I'm making parts for the Inquala, my glassworking machine. Today's part is made out of quarter inch aluminum extrusion 6061T6. First we start off drilling some holes. It's important to keep the drill bit clean and avoid buildup of long stringy chips. And so I've been experimenting with a variety of different feeds and speeds. It turns out that sometimes a slower feed produces a longer, thinner, stringier chip that gets clogged. This hole is being drilled at 5140 RPM, which is the maximum RPM the machine can produce, 10 inches per minute, and a 40 thousandths pack. Switching to a larger diameter 3 8 drill, we reduce the RPM to 1500, but maintain the 10 inches per minute and a 50 thousandths pack. In both cases, the drill bit stays completely clean. I just got a new tool, a Lakeshore Carbide Aluminum Roughing Tool. I think they call it the Aluminum Shredder. It makes a very, very fine chip that's easy to clear with flood coolant. Here I'm operating at the full machine speed, 40 inches per minute, cutting a hole. It takes two passes to cut this. I experimented earlier in the day with trying to do it in one pass and the machine just didn't have the rigidity. It was chattering. Now I'm switching to the Lakeshore Carbide Three Flute Zirconium Nitride Coated aluminum bit. At 3000 RPM and 20 inches per minute for a very nice final pass. This is a hole that will accept a bearing and the bearing fits in precisely. The final step on this side is going to be to tap some holes. We start drilling with a similar profile, 5140, 10 inches per minute, and a 40 thousandths pack. As I get more experience programming this thing, I'm learning how to keep the drill bits and the cutters completely clean and free of stringy chip buildup. As I said in my previous video, unattended tapping can be a problem. So now all of my tapping cycles include a pause where I can blow off the chips, apply tap magic, and continue. Tap magic really is magic. 
It works a lot better than the flood coolant, even though there's a lot of flood coolant. Just as a kind of a random thing happened here that a, a rather large chip fell into that hole, and I, would, I just cleared it in time, showing once again why unattended tapping can sometimes be a problem. Now we're going to move to the second operation on a tooling plate with the piece held in place with four 832 screws. We're going to also be using the Lakeshore Carbide Roughing Cutter at a fairly aggressive 55 inches per minute feed. Once again, I tried doing this tool path with full depth of a, of a quarter inch, and the machine wasn't happy. It was chattering and making funny noises. Doing it in two passes, I'm using, looking at the uh, spindle horsepower meter. I'm pretty much using all the available horsepower, and everything seems to be under control with pretty much no chatter. And now a finish pass using the 3 8 3 flute coated at 30 inches per minute, 3,000 RPM. I still haven't figured out why the tool shatters taking a very light finish cut if I go above 30, if I go above 3,000 RPM. It's a bit of a mystery, but 3,000 RPM seems to produce an extremely good surface finish. And there we have it.